Here we have some Remington Golden Saber Black Belt, 124 grain plus P. Graciously donated by Mr. Guns and Gear. We're going to shoot this out of our 4.95 inch barrel MP and our water jugs with uh, four layers of 12 ounce denim, 10 feet. So here's our Golden Saber Black Belt. We were dead center there. Take those four heavy layers of denim. There's our exit. Here's jug number two. Got some tearing down there, some denim in there. Exit on jug number two, split the jug up there. Entrance on jug number three. Here is our entrance on number three. Here is our exit on number three. It dented the fourth one, but didn't penetrate, and it found laying right here on the mat. There's our recovered round. Looks pretty similar to your golden saber. You can kind of see that mechanical jet, that mechanical locking band below there still. Here we have our 124 grain plus P golden saber black belt versus some half inch thick plywood at 10 feet with bare water jugs behind it. So here's our half inch plywood, here's our entrance, and our exit, not much to write home about. Jug number one, entrance, there's some plywood fragments in there. Split, the, split it pretty good. This is jug number two, entrance, exit, there's a uh, fragment inside there. So here's one of the petals recovered from jug number two. Jug number three. In and out over here on the handle. Two more fragments. Jug number three kind of came in and out high, and it must have bounced off the fourth, and we found it laying right here. It's still in one piece, but it looks like that that, and that band is still there. It looks like it's trying to pull that lead out of side of that band, but it held together. Obviously, the petals ripped off, but still expanded.